Hey YouTube, hi, my name is Mark. This is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. Today's video, we're gonna bring you along. We're at the track, we're at Eagles Canyon. Um, we're actually gonna work on just some fine tuning. If you saw the video where I showed you some uh, setup on the Formula 1000, um, this is a continuation of that in that we're trying to just tune very narrowly the the cambers um, on the front primarily but both front and rear of the, of the race car so it that's all we're doing just verifying some of the setup and um, we'll bring you along show you what we're doing come on yay new headset new headset nice Doing? Filling the tank. This one? Yeah, getting the uh, air tank. This is for shifting, so I got to fill it up to, oh, 3,500, 4,000 PSI, kind of in that range. So I watch this gauge, and this shows me tank pressure as well. I kind of compare them both. Uh, that's about it. And then that gives me enough capacity for most of the day, actually. Pretty straightforward. See? It shows you it's eh, about 3,500 psi. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put the car on the scales in a minute, and um, we're gonna reduce the camber on the front just a, sh a little bit. So today is to. Try to get our tires and the uh, oh I know better better place window window yeah Close. there's Jeff cleaning so we make it faster yep mm -hmm. yeah clean is fast yeah that's a secret well actually you know we we learned that a long time ago I forgot who or where it's not like it's a super secret thing but you know keeping keeping your race car clean whether it's a doesn't kind of, doesn't matter what kind of car it's two purposes one it's because you're keeping it you're proud of it you know that kind of thing um, make it look well but the real the real fundamental reason is it makes you get close you get close you touch the vehicle you're you're you'll find s small issues that you wouldn't necessarily find otherwise, and um, so that's why it's it's kind of a good practice to always make sure your car is nice and clean. Yeah, these work pretty good. What's that? That's pretty tricky. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you can just fold it? Yeah, exactly. Cool. So what we're going to do is, the car balance is great. We're just going to try to tune the front cambers a bit so we're gonna we're gonna stand them upright just a couple tenths and then um, and that's it left. Yep. Okay. Straight. okay go ahead <laughs> uh, no uh, we're not gonna do weights no, though it's good, okay. it should none of that should change Take, just take a reading on uh, the cambers before we start. They should be it should be uh, 1.7. Man, that's a little 
crickets are everywhere. Try that. Whoops, wait, hang on. Not quite centered. Makes a difference. But that's probably pretty close. So as you think about it, um, and I've had many videos on this, we spent a lot of time focusing on cambers, but trying to get um, trying to get the maximum contact patch of the tire on the track, in the corners, um, in the right heat range, right, um, is where we want to be. Um, we're trying to maximize cornering capability in the race car. The car right now is actually, it's very, very good where it's at, um, but um, small tuning pieces, you know, we see the front still has a little bit too much negative camber, um, it, it appears, so we're going to try to focus on the front today primarily to try to move that um, heat window more um, centered and across the tire. The rear cambers seem to be pretty good. We had a little bit of uh, tire pressure, uh, a little overpressured, where we had a little crest on the rear, so we're going to we're going to focus on on that as well. Does that make sense? But the focus is maximizing contact patch for cornering performance. Okay. okay, so we're going to roll out on the track, uh, session one, a little late start today, it's okay. Um, we're going to roll out in a few minutes. We'll do probably, what, six, six, seven laps, not five or six plus some odd laps um, each session today, just enough to get the tires to temperature so we can get uh, good data on that. And the changes we made on the car, you know, panning down on this, you've seen the car many times by now, we've, we've reduce some of the negative camber on the front just by what two tenths i think it was two tenths we stood more upright and the rears we left alone we did change though the cold tire pressures so we're, we're going to play with pressures just a little bit today and primarily the fronts and camber just small increments of a tenth here or there and um, hopefully we learn something and we can see more heat distribution across the uh, the tire patch itself. So anyway, we'll get in the car here in a minute and get on the track, all right?
so I was like, it's, it's uh, Yeah, track was, so it rained like crazy yesterday. Um, hardly anything on the track, so the track's really, really loose. It's very green. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a little counterproductive, I think. We were trying to get some heat in the tires. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, but... Um, so you said that there's the um, vibration in the front right Yeah, tire. I felt something in the front, so I don't know if it was... Um, I picked up some marbles or debris or something, maybe, because I did pass a couple cars way offline, you know, so that's possible, but... I started to get a little, uh, little vibration on the front right. How about, how about like when you the second time? Yeah, I mean it was fine. I just pushed through it. it it's, it's, it's fine. But it, it could be a, a small out of, I don't know. Yeah, it's not alarming. It's not huge. Yeah, hang on, Jeff. Okay, so we ran a couple sessions, and um, we didn't do a lot today. The track was so green, um, you know, it was somewhat counterproductive, as I, I mentioned earlier. I mean, the tires, the tires are looking good, um, you know, just visually. Uh, they, they do look good front and rear. Um, so I guess observations, the rears 
are about right from a camber point of view, just managing tire pressures a bit, you know, to, to help spread that temp across the carcass of the tire. Um, that seemed to help, so we lowered them about a, a pound, which is quite a bit. The fronts, we stood them a little more positive, a little more upright. Not much, just I think two tenths of a degree. Um, so they still have a fair amount of negative camber. We're not going to go any more than that today. Um, the car balance feels good, actually. Um, it feels good, so we're going to stop with that. So setup-wise, you know, we feel pretty pretty good about it. Now we're going to go um, in in about two weeks. We're going to actually we have a double header race coming up. Um, you're going to see us on a track that we haven't ran at in actually many years. So we're going to go to uh, it's a track called uh, Motorsport Ranch in uh, Texas, and uh, we'll be there in two weeks. Again, double header should be interesting. So we'll bring you along. You'll see videos on that coming coming up here pretty quick. But um, that's it for now. And until next time, talk later. Ciao.